Uh, we are talking about the DST coming to an end. Daylight saving time ends this uh, Saturday night, Sunday morning. So the sun goes down. Sun rises at 7.30 on Saturday, rather late, and it sets at 5.38, which isn't bad. But by Sunday, the sun is up at 6.31, which is good. We get an extra hour of sleep, but uh, unfortunately, the sun sets at 4.37 on Sunday, so it's going to get dark real early. Clocks go back one hour Saturday night, and check those batteries in your smoke detectors and carbon monoxide detectors. It's a great idea at this time of year to do that. All right, if you're looking to do some leaf peeping, the leaves have hung on. It's November and they're still out there. We've got moderate color along the shoreline, high color in central Connecticut and peak color in northern Connecticut. So if you're looking to do a little leaf peeping this weekend, this is it. Frost advisory is in effect right now for the immediate shoreline, but everybody should be playing along. The reason why it's not been issued for northern Connecticut is because it's already been issued and they don't just keep reissuing them. Once they do it, they stop. Our Channel 3 early warning radar scans to stay dry. Let's roll out the bus. Get on the bus. Don't be late for the bus. The kids need a coat today. At the bus stop, we've got some mid to upper 20s out there this morning and we're expecting uh, by about seven o'clock temperatures to be in the low to possibly mid 30s for the shoreline for lunch and recess only 44 to 47 degrees that's a chill it's going to be bright and golden in that sun uh, but nonetheless it is going to be chilly today old saybrook a little bit of a breeze blowing old glory around that breeze is making it feel a little bit cooler we've got a beautiful skyline for you in hartford with a temperature of 32 that's four degrees cooler than average and new haven 36 degrees get ready getting ready for that is that the tree i see yes is it? Yeah, they set it up the other day. Already? Did they? Mm-hmm. Rick, it's right here. Yeah. They haven't lit it yet. Oh, my but goodness they've gracious. It. Isn't that crazy? That is so nutty. Forget Rockefeller Center. We're already skipping a Christmas here, right? Oh, my right. goodness gracious. All right, I'm getting ready for Sunday to come up so I can see it in more, in more detail. Uh, wasn't it last year we had a couple of problems with the tree? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Actually, the lights were flickering on our eye cam one year when you were showing oh, That's true. I think that's it was last year, yeah. Yeah, that's very true. <laughs> It fell oh, down it last fell. year That's and right. it got damaged and it, it was raised just, money. Yeah, yeah it was yeah. Yeah. new. They brought a new tree in last year. That's right. Wow. All right. 20, 25 20, man. 2020. What a year. 25 degrees this morning in Litchfield, 29 in Cromwell, Plainfield at 31 in West Haven at 34. So the numbers are chilly. We've got 29 in three locales, Willimantic, Salisbury, Danbury, 31 at Bradley. The number went up a degree, so that's at least some headway. And the numbers are a little bit better than where they were just 24 hours ago. But tomorrow morning, we're going to have some of the coldest air of the season. Winds are fairly calm with the exception of the shoreline, 68 to 49. Sunday, it was 68. 49 yesterday. Those numbers have been going down, and today they're going to climb into the low 50s. Bright golden sunshine right across the board, both inland and shoreline. It's going to be an absolutely gorgeous day, and there is nothing on Futurecast for days. Nothing. A little bit of cloud coverage for Sunday. Daytime highs today, upper 40s, low 50s. Your seven day forecast includes delightful weather. Partly cloudy skies on Sunday as the storm goes by to our south and east. And then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, the temperatures start moving back up back up 